Oh, hang on. Set the hot bars wrong. Supposed to be three. Four. That needs to go there. Okay, we are almost done. Now that I think about it, I probably should have made it MK2s beforehand because there is going to be like an MK2 like somewhere in here that I just can't upgrade anymore Unless we do this There's yeah, we upgrade this Gotta make sure you upgrade those little segments in between. But they are tricky to upgrade at this point. Especially when you have such little room. I can't even get in there. Like, how do you even do this? Because it's always going to be stuck if I can't upgrade this. It's like, do I really have to do this? What the hell? Why won't you connect? What the hell? Okay, what what the hell is going on? I can't connect it to this one. Oh my god, what the hell is going on? Okay, now this game is fucking with me. Like seriously. Quick switch. Yeah, this game is so fucking with me. Like, I can't build the conveyor belts here. Oh my god. Do I seriously have to take this down all over again? All right, new plan. Use less like conveyor things, conveyor poles, because I think that's what's causing the problems. We just have too many of these things. Okay, so this can stay here. Oh yeah, I forgot. Mass disassemble. Okay, make sure all of these are clear. And then, uh, conveyor poles. They were supposed to be on five.
Then we bring it this way. Okay, so this is going to be cleaner. And then this should work. Oh, fine, let's just do it like that. And then... Oh my god, this is exhausting. You know, let's do the top first, just to make it easier on us. This is exactly why I try to only build things once. Because having to rebuild these things every single time is like, damn. It hurts. Okay, we're almost there. And I'm just gonna stagger it like this. Can't really stagger that. Okay, it doesn't connect. Okay, come on. Oh, come on. There. Wow. Okay, now we connect this. There we go. And I guess we don't really need to replace this just yet. Oh, we do need to replace this, though. Oh my god. Alright, so reinforce iron plates. Uh, we need power. Jeez, that took a lot of time. I guess the moral of the story is try to use as much room as possible so you don't have to deal with problems like this. Because if you have enough room, then you can just use that room. Trying to squeeze everything into the, such a tight area. Now, let's just turn these back into MK1s. We don't need MK2s here. Just save a little bit of extra resources like that. Anyway. Okay, so all of that should be done. For the... Plating there. We only need 50 of these, so I think we overproduced, but that's okay. You can just go into the next one. Yeah, it was just one. Sealed up. And then we send it. Go launch it. All right. So we have completed phase one. Now I'd have to check back in my other playthroughs to see if this was like faster or slower. Like it probably would have been faster if I wasn't distracted over there because we did have enough resources to complete like phase one like twice over now we get to work on more milestones and that being said probably should 
uh, start moving stuff from over there. Like, we need to move this platform over here. We need to start building our factory. So, I'm pretty much doing things in a different order. Because in the previous playthrough, I did have, like, my factory started, but... This time, I didn't even, even build, like, foundations yet. And I completely forgot about the awesome shop. Nice. Anyway, let's get another one of these going. So, we're gonna need coal power. We will do that in the next play session. Right now. Let's just get rid of all of this limestone because we really do not need it. And I think at this point we don't need to carry around screws anymore. Iron ore should not be in here either. Okay, we can move this now. Now we need, do need to increase the screw production over there. And what I want to do is move this hub close to the space elevator. Since again, we're going to be traveling a lot towards the east and towards the north. So, got to make sure that our hub is close by. And then we can just put our factory area all the way over here. We're going to be building lots of foundations to make that happen. I think we can just put it over there. Of course. Well, I was thinking probably should put it near our resources, but I think it would be appropriate if we just put it like right over here. We should clean this up just a little bit. Because once the hub goes up, we won't be able to access the underside anymore. Okay, let's get the hub. And just to polish it up just a little bit, why don't I put some ramps over here? Uh, was I in the way? Yeah. There we go. This way it's easier to access. Don't have to, like, jump to make it happen. Maybe a one meter ramp would be appropriate here. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so we just need this, this, and this. I probably should have brought more rotors with me, but my inventory is full. Just put these things back. I probably should move the MAM as well. I'm gonna just... Okay. Uh, those can stay there for the time being. But you know what? I'm just gonna get the... Rotors from over there. Also need to start building out this factory. Gonna have some foundations all the way reaching all the way over here, I think. Gotta take advantage of all of this open space. And let me just uh continue doing this. Slug scanning. 
Oh, we're gonna need screws for that. And we're also gonna need quartz for this research. But nothing else left to scan, it looks like. Or nothing else to research. So, okay. What is the biggest bottleneck right now? It's screws. Wait a minute. Like, all of this is drained, but this isn't. Still maxed out. Well, I guess we do need the screws anyway, but still. So, probably should fix this, actually. So, what I'm gonna do is put the merger like so. Except it's supposed to point this. The hell? Yeah, the green or arrow is pointing this way. Because look at the hologram there. When the arrows are behind it, it turns green. Like that's confusing as hell. But anyway, this is fixed. So now it'll be much more balanced out. It'll still cause some problems because we still need more screws coming into here. I think it's okay for the time being. Let me get the motors. Or, wait a minute. Let me double check the conveyors. Like, did I miss an MK1 here? Or is it because it's just 120 uh, screws coming into the line out of 200 that it needs over here? So, probably gonna need the MK3s in order to do this properly. But anyway, I feel like I should, like, just bring it onto this line here. You know what? Yeah. Let's do that. Oh, it doesn't reach. Damn you. Okay, fine, so... I'm just doing this to make things easier for me. That way we can have all of our rotors over here and I don't need to go all the way down over here. Actually, I still need to go down over here to fill out the rest of these. And still doesn't reach, okay. Shit. I was using reinforced iron plates. So, we don't need the MK2s for this. We just replace these first. So, switch these back to MK1s. Since it's still pretty hard to get the 
reinforced iron plates at this point in time, so... Use the slower ones. It's just being consolidated anyway, so... Doesn't really need to do that. Four, five. So four, five. Wait, I think it's the wrong one. It's supposed to go here. And then this one is supposed to be for cables. So it needs to stay like this. But anyway, if we just do it this way. Fucking hell, I did it again. Was this an MK1 or... No, it wasn't. Oh, my God. Just gonna do this real quick and then we'll take that break. Oh, did it again. And we're missing iron plates. What the hell? How'd that happen? So there should be no... Uh... Iron rods in here. Try not to do that again. Like, I need to... Use MK1s here. And there we go. So now have the rotors coming over here eventually. So we don't have to go down here unless we want to expand rotor production. Yeah, definitely want to get the Blade Runners sooner rather than later as well. So I need to set up another MAM over here. Also, I'll set this up for power. Just so that I have a place that I can throw away uh, the... What's it called? The flower petals? Yeah. Throw these away. That's way we can turn it into useful stuff. Anyway. Get back up on here. Get this going already. Alright, so we have coal power tech. Milestone reach. Coal is an improved alternative power source to biomass and can be fully automated with provided water with the new pipeline buildings and power throughout the initial setup. Coal has been added to the resource scanner. Note, ensure the close proximity of water to the coal production line. Note, pumps will aid in vertical transport of fluids through pipes. Note, throughput and volume indicators are added to each pipe section. Oh yeah, we need uh, pipes, don't we? Did I research that with the coal power? Or no? Well, either way. Uh, let's just... Get this done and then I'll take a break. Yeah, there we go. Pretty good for the first play session, though. It did kind of slow down towards the end because of trying to fit stuff in there for the reinforced iron plating. But I think it's on par with the other playthroughs I've done. Breaking news from oh, Earth. shut up. Widespread chaos and mayhem. World president urges so, all citizens I'm just going to do this. And harvest alien artifacts. Let's turn it into protein. 
pretty much all the same anyway. So I'm just gonna leave it at that. We got our uh, phase one completed of project assembly. We got our resources being consolidated there. I can see my rotors off in the distance slowly making their way in there. Got plenty of... You know what? I just realized we don't have the awesome sink yet. I was going to do that. Fucking hell. But you know what? I think we can do it over there. Because we aren't really using those iron plates anymore. I mean, we could always add it to the reinforced iron plating that's like nearby. If we absolutely needed to. But for the time being, I just want to do this. Now let's do or you what? Know let's do a splitter over here. This way it can be broken off. Actually no, can't do that. The awesome sink. Give it a little bit more room. Now we put the splitter here. And the merger here. So the splitter will be used later on. If we need more iron plates, we can just bring the that from over here to over there. But in the meantime, what I'm going to do with this is... We're just going to pour stuff into the awesome sink. I also need an awesome shop. Which I'll put like right here. It's close to my base. Yeah, there we go. So what I'm looking for, what I was looking for is the foundations. What I wanted was this double ramp set. I need three tickets. And then once I have that, I'll be able to uh, build my way up over to the quartz. And these have MK2s, so it's fine. Thirty per minute. Yeah, this is all saturated. And we almost have our first coupon, so okay. We just get coal power up and running. By the time we do that, we should have uh, enough tickets for the double ramp. Okay, I'm just going to go into the bathroom because I need to take a break. So, I hope you enjoyed that everyone. Thank you everyone for watching. I appreciate it. And as always, I will see you next time. Take care and be safe out there. Let me go ahead and save this real quick. And we'll end it there. Thanks everyone and I'll see you later.